This could be the practical professional monitor you are looking for. And let me explain why as we get it unboxed, set up and share its key details. Starting with, it offers a 27 inch display, IPS wide viewing angle, quad HD resolution, offers a Windows Hello web camera for extra level of security, HDMI connection, and its model number for reference is Q27P3QW. There will also be a link in the video description to discover more. This monitor has an F energy rating with an extra feature to help you save money, which I'll share shortly. To make sure your monitor doesn't topple out and all of its parts and cables come out all at once, make sure to lie the box down flat. Also, you'll notice little pictograms to show you the unpacking process and also how to connect your desktop. I'm gonna be connecting to my Mac mini, my Xbox, PS5 and Windows laptop. So lifting that lid, let's see what we get inside. First up is our quick start guide full of helpful information and shares all the cables that are provided in the box and a QR code to scan to learn more. Our first cable is our USB-A to USB-B port connection to help connect into your monitor and this utilizes the hub that's built into the monitor. Then we follow that up with a HDMI to HDMI connection that help connect the PS5 or the Xbox or even my Mac mini. And then you have your display port connection. So this would be used to connect into your GPU you on your PC or desktop setup. Then we have a range of plugs and connecting the power to your monitor. So this is the UK three pin plug that has a C5 cloverleaf connection into your monitor. Then we move on to our base of our monitor. So just get it unpacked here. And it has a square design, which is quite nice and easy to use when putting a wireless charger on there. It's a brushed sort of plastic design and obviously metal inlaid at the bottom. And then you've got an arrow pointing forward to know where to position your monitor because it has an ergonomic design. We've got screw thread and also four rubberized feet there for sturdiness. With every base, you need a stand and here's ours. So just getting this unwrapped and unpacked. Again, it has the same brushed plastic design throughout with metal parts for sturdiness and in the actual structure. There is a cable management section. It feels like metal on the back, but it is actually plastic. And you've got the cable management here and your locking nut options. And it's always good to see the height adjustment on here as well. A real clean and professional design as well, especially for your professional feeling monitor. Adding your stand to the base is simple and easy. Just lock in the nuts and then hold tightly, flip around and use the screw thread underneath. So you could either use a crosshead screwdriver if you wish, or you can use the turning key available here. Just turn up so it's nice and strong and sturdy. That's all our accessories. So next up is our monitor itself. So let's take a closer look at that and its connectability and that extra feature as I mentioned to save power is a dedicated on off switch on your monitor. This version actually uses the C13 kettle style connection. So I know I showed you the clover leaf, but it depends on the region you purchase this monitor. Then we have our two HDMI connections, your display port connection, headphone out, and then you also have your USB connection to your device and then your USB-A connection, and one of them being fast charging. On the left side of your monitor, you have your Kensington lock and two further USB-A connections connect multiple peripherals, which is really handy. Before setting up, I just want to show off the privacy Windows Hello web camera built into your monitor. So a privacy feature where you're able to swivel it around. This is a two megapixel and it works with Windows Hello to add an extra level of security. With our monitor all set up, I have it connected to my Mac mini via the HD my connection and also utilizing the USB hub that's built into the monitor by connecting the USB A to my Mac mini. This gives me the option to use the other ports for extra peripherals or even charging my devices as well as utilizing the built in web camera for FaceTime calls or Teams calls as we have so many calls when working from home. With the web camera as I've mentioned 2 megapixel and the privacy option of spinning it around you can either use your web camera or spin it around and then you have complete privacy. Utilizing the second HDMI port, I've connected it to my Xbox for a bit of gaming after a long day's work. However, this monitor is designed for a professional use, so i.e. heavy admin based tasks, data analysis, Word, you could be doing Excel spreadsheets, keynotes or presentations. For me, I'm going to be using it for day to day work such as emails, calendars, any tasks, writing notes, even checking my stock market, so it's going up and down at the moment, and even editing this video you're watching right now. So some of the monitors 
monitor's key details include a 75Hz refresh rate, a quad HD resolution of 2560 by 1440 adaptive sync technology, and it also includes some accessibility features such as flicker-free technology and the option to use low blue mode, which removes the harsh blue light emitted from your monitor. No need to worry though, as I will go through the key details and share my thoughts when I share my review. If you haven't already, make sure to tap subscribe and tap the notification bell to be updated when I release my new videos. If you have any questions, please comment below and let me know what your nine to five daily work is. This monitor is available now, so you can go and pick it up for yourself. In the video description, there will be a link to AOC and also a link to Amazon UK, where you can go and purchase this monitor for 317 pounds. By purchasing through the link in the video description, please note you are supporting the channel. All that's left to say is thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video. And please make sure to tap the subscribe here over to the right and check out my latest videos here over to the left.